download and install the CryEngine 3 SDK, not the mod SDK. And I extracted that file into my games folder and renamed CryEngine 3. And I put a shortcut to my desktop. There's no install necessary. Everything's ready to go. You need to go into the tools folder and run settings manager and make sure that this light is green by setting this path to the same place that you have the CryEngine 3 installed to. And now for custom textures which you're going to eventually want, we're going to set up the Photoshop plugin. Go back to the bin32 folder and find these three files, jpeg62, libtiff3, and zlib1. And just copy and paste or drag those to wherever you have Photoshop 32-bit installed anywhere in this main directory drop those three files and you're also going to need one more file to go in the plugins directory and that was not included with the SDK so I'll put a link to crytiff plugin make sure that's in your plugins folder and these three files are in the main directory now if you're going to use mod tool for your modeling the proper exporter was not included with cryengine 3 so you're gonna if you don't have an older crisis game download crisis wars trial and the crisis wars mod SDK and once you install those, you'll have a tools folder in the Crisis Wars directory. And the proper exporter is located right here, Crytek add-on, XSI add-on. And you're simply going to want to drag and drop that into your Soft Image installation directory right here into the add-ons folder. Just copy and paste or drag that file. Now you'll be ready to use the SDK with custom textures and models. So let's go ahead and find where we extracted CryEngine 3 and in the bin 64 folder 32 if you don't have 64 bit go ahead and run the editor which I have a shortcut to on my desktop login or create an account for crydev.net now we're gonna start a new map I'm gonna call it level 1 and this is the size of the map Once your map is loaded, you can use the right click and move your mouse to look around and use WAS and D keys to fly around. And the first thing we want to do is add terrain, so click the terrain button. And these are your preset brush sizes. We're going to draw a height map, which is a 2D black and white image in which black indicates lower values and white indicates higher values. You can see the difference, and if you ever want to undo something, it's hard to do in the editor. But if you right click out here and hit Control Z, it'll work and if you ever want to undo everything just hit this X and you could start all over again now in order to create some nice terrain I like to set a preset value for the radius set the height close to the ocean level which is about 20 the hardness to 1 and draw some terrain on the map and if you exit the terrain editor you have access to all the same tools under the terrain tab modify so you can edit the terrain while you're flying around looking at it if you want to rise or lower the terrain, depending on the hardness you have set and the height, you can increase or decrease the terrain. Bigger radius is going to allow for a bigger area of effect. And under the Smooth tab, or the Smooth tool, you can give the terrain a more natural look by smoothing everything out. And once you have some terrain that you're happy with, we can go ahead and start applying some textures to the terrain. Now under the texture tab, you can view all the layers of the textures that you're using in your map. Go ahead and delete the default layer that it comes with and we're going to add our own new layer and you're going to want to name it so you can easily distinguish it. Ground 01. First we're going to use a texture that comes with the game and then we'll worry about adding our own. So the first thing that you need to do when creating texture is change this layer texture. And that's going to affect how your texture will be seen from a distance. So everything we work with in uh, CryEngine is going to be found under your CryEngine folder under game and then we're going to want to go to textures and terrain and we're going to choose this 128 gray BMP and this is a blank gray texture it's going to result in your textures becoming flatter as you view them from a distance you don't need to worry about it and uh, if you want you can use a low res version of your texture but gray works just fine so now we need to set the material for your texture which affects how your texture is viewed from up close so you can click here or you can right click out here and push M and once you're in the material editor navigate to the terrain under materials and we'll go ahead and use ground mossy and with that selected go back to your texture choose the texture you want to apply it to and choose assign material and now your material is ready to go ahead and start painting onto your map so under the terrain tab choose layer painter 
and you'll see all the layers you have which we only have one for now and you go ahead and start drawing that onto your map zoom in to see what we're doing and since we probably want this to be our base background terrain we're gonna set the radius rather large and paint it over everything we have in our map and you can actually change the brightness and the color of the terrain this is really the only way that you want to adjust the color and brightness of your terrain by clicking the color and since this is a ground we're gonna go ahead and try and find a brownish color and the brightness so that looks pretty good now we'll go ahead and start adding our own custom texture.